In 1857, Indians fought the first war of independence against the British. They were brave but were defeated. Nearly 75 years later, Indians fought a very different kind of battle and won. On January 31st, 1930, Gandhi ji wrote a letter to the Viceroy Lord Erwin. He was writing on behalf of the Indian people. He pointed out many unjust things the British were doing. One of them was about salt. India is surrounded by seas on three sides. Salt was easily available, but the British took control of all the salt factories. In this country, Indians could no longer make their own salt. They were forced to buy from the British and pay extra money over and above the price of salt. So Gandhi ji told Erwin that if the Viceroy did not accept the 11 demands he had made in his letter, he would break the salt law and encourage all Indians to do the same. Do what you want, thought Erwin. I will not change one law set down by my government. On March 12, 1930, everyone at the ashram awoke early. Gandhi ji and 78 others set out. Each one carried a jhola with only the most essential items. This was the Dandi march. The British government knew Gandhi ji was going to break the salt law. Why did they not stop him? Oh, Irwin said, Mr. Gandhi will never get that far. He will collapse in a heap long before he reaches Dandi. Gandhi ji did not care. He and his 78 just continued walking. They had to reach a particular place, but night fall each day. Sometimes the party would stop by for a rest or refreshments. Gandhi ji would advise the people to be clean and to do their duty. Halfway through the march, the volunteers had to cross the Mahi river. Gandhi ji led them up along the river to another point where the rivers were more shallow at last after two and a half hours they were on the other side the marchers reached dandi on april 5th it was late evening early next morning gandhi ji walked into the waters of the arabian sea he bent down and picked up a lump of salt the volunteers and all of those who had gathered there cheered loudly mahatma gandhi ki jai someone shouted vande matram everyone joined in gandhi ji had broken the salt law nearly a year later on march 5 1931 the gandhi irwin pact was signed the british agreed to many indian demands most important there was no be no more tax on salt Indians could make their own salt what guns and soldiers could not do gandhi ji did quietly and simply thank you so much for watching